So this topic we're about to move into could actually be inserted into a number of different courses. And it doesn't have to be a vector calculus or multivariable calculus. Um, th the seeds of this go back to elementary algebra and uh, algebras that could happen before you even get to a calculus course. Or it could be a major player in the linear algebra, a completely different um, set of, uh, of, of goals if you're going to be studying linear algebra. Sometimes there's a lot of overlap. We find that the branches of this math tree interweave quite a bit if you keep on this path. So we're going to look at the determinant of a two by two matrix. The reason's not quite clear yet. But uh, trust me, I will try not to drive you over the edge of a cliff here. And I want to take us back to an elementary algebra problem where we would have used this to find the point of intersection of two lines. And if we were looking at this, uh, there's a number of methods. You could try to graph the two lines, but we learned that graphing uh, only really works well if you either want an approximation or you happen to have a really nice set of intersection coordinates. So we're going to use the elimination method to uh, look at this particular problem. Um, if we're going to eliminate the variable y but, but keep the x's, um, if we want to do that, then we would probably multiply um, this upper equation, both sides of it, by 5. And so 5 times 3 is uh, 15. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 9 is 45. And then we would multiply the lower equation, both sides of it, by 2. 2 times 4 8. 2 times 5 is 10. And 2 times 6 is 12. And then we learned that once you have these two equations that have been modified using just common algebra practices, we could subtract the two equations and 15x minus 8x is 7x, 10y minus 10y is 0, and we could solve this uh, and eventually get to what x equals without too much difficulty. Now, what I'm interested in is the simple arithmetic steps it took us to get to the 7. What it took to get us to the 7. So this concept we're looking at here is related to something called a matrix. Now, this is not a matrix algebra class, and it is not a um, linear algebra class. But you might see it in the Western world in a class that precedes calculus that's called pre-calculus or math analysis. Um, you might see it in an upper algebra class in like a secondary or high school. Um, sometimes uh, part of something called Kramer's rule. We're not studying those things. But the idea is someone realized, you know, you don't need to write all of the symbolic math that's here. Let's just look at the 3 and the 2 and the 4 and the 5, which we use to get this combination here. And this is called a matrix right here. 3 and 2 and 4 and 5. It happens to be a 2 by 2, two rows and two columns matrix. And what we're going to do is we're going to see what's called the determinant of this matrix. The determinant of this matrix, that's an A right there, okay. And then we use a slightly different notation, although a lot of modern calculators will write these three letters abbreviating determinant in front of a matrix to, to do this. Um, it looks a lot like the absolute value notation, but it's not. It's called determinant. So this is a matrix, and this is a calculation to the matrix. And this calculation 
is very similar to what we did here. Um, you would multiply the 3 times the 5 and get 15. Look, there's our 15. And then you multiply the 2 and the 4 and get your 8. Look, there's the 8 there. And then you would subtract, just like this set of equations. But instead of writing all of the algebraic notation here, we just do the computation really fast. 3 multiplied by 5 minus 2 multiplied by 4. And that would be 15 minus 8 is 7. Now, imagine that this uh, matrix here, we were going to find the determinant of u1, u2, v1, and v2, had just four random numbers. The determinant of that little 2 by 2 matrix would be this product, u1 multiplied by v2 minus this product, u2 multiplied by v1. That would be, I guess you call it, a formula for the 2 by 2 matrix if these were the symbols. You can go online and find so many people have posted videos on this. We are very interested in pieces of this calculation for uh, a process coming up in a moment. Now, I'm going to look at the same starting question one more time, but from a slightly different perspective. All right. So let's suppose we were going to... Where did I put it here? I hit it for myself. There it is. Gotta keep talking to keep the camera rolling. Alright, we're back. We're back. Let's suppose we were gonna eliminate the X and keep the Y variable. So if we were gonna get rid of X, we would multiply this top one. Um, let's see. Keep y, get rid of x, we would multiply um, this by 4, and multiply this one by 3. So if we multiply the top one by 4, we would get 12x plus 8y equals 36, and multiply this one by 3, that would be 12x plus 15y equals 18. And I want you to note, same algebra teacher now intervening, if we subtract, we'll end up with the opposite of what we had the first time. We will get a negative 7 in front of our y. And that's just a simple matter of the order the arithmetic here and the way it takes us through the calculation. So please note, if this arrangement of numbers 3 and 2 and 4 and 5 were involved, if we were to reverse the order of the calculation, uh, we would get a negative 7. We would get a negative 7. Now the only reason that is of concern to us is that you just need to know if you're going to be keeping the first column, keeping the first column, it's going to be 3 times 5 and minus 2 times 4. But if you're going to keep the second column, it's going to be reversed. And we will not prove it in any of my videos. I'll let the linear algebra teacher play with this. If we were to go to a third set of variables, um, that would be positive again. That would be positive again. We will not prove it. All right, consider this stepping stone to what is going to happen for our vector calculus um, operations we're about to learn. So this was the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix, which is just enough to get us started.